Welcome. This is item number 13 uh, on the release test items from the spring 2014 test for the Tennessee 7th grade TCAP math test. The question says, Mr. Allen is building a fence. He will use three wooden boards for every two feet of fence. If the fence will be 240 feet long, what is the fewest number of wooden boards Mr. Allen will need? Now, when I read this question the first time, I went through like a time warp um, because Tim Allen who is the voice of Buzz Lightyear, you may, that may be a reference that you get, had a show in the 90s when most of you were probably either not even born or, um, you know, just little. And that show was like, it was pretty big. It was a huge show. But anyway, on the show, one of the characters was his next-door neighbor, Wilson, who always stood behind a fence, and you could never see the bottom of Wilson's face. It was always his nose up that you could see, and often not even his nose. And they would talk about, you know, life or whatever. It was kind of a, a moment to get away from the craziness in the episode, and they would just discuss things. It's to, so Tim Allen's character gets head wrapped around it. Anyway, I thought of all that, and I was like, well, either this is a huge callback to that, or this is like somebody who's so far out of touch that they think a reference uh, is good for somebody who wasn't even born when it was made, or it's just luck. I mean, it's probably the third one, but I tend to overthink things. Anyway, that's my moment. Um, Mr. Allen is building a fence. He will use three boards for every two feet of fence. If the fence will be 240 feet long, what is the fewest number of wooden boards he will need? Well, this has all the markings of a 2 3 4 situation. Um, there are three numbers. 2 3 4 Three numbers. Check. Two ideas. I've got boards and uh, feet of fence, boards, fence, feet o fence, check, do I need the fourth number? Well, I have two things that relate to the feet fence, so two feet and two forty feet, but only one thing about the boards, so yeah, so check. I do need the fourth, and I need to know about boards. By the way, what is the fewest number of wooden boards he will need? Practically speaking, that's if he is the most amazing of all carpenters and can just put it together with the exact amount. Usually you have overrun probably about 10%. That's just real life. But anyway, let's get on to the math problem. But now that we know that all of these things check out, so check, 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 um, this is a proportion question because it meets the standards. So what I'm going to do is make a ratio based on the first situation. I usually try to make the first ratio using both of the two items. So one thing about boards and one thing about fence. That's related, by the way. Um, and I read through here again and made sure there are no numbers that are in text form. Like if 4 was in there, F-O-U-R, that would change the relationship in the question, maybe. So anyway, three boards. And I'm going to be smart and mark up the I'm going to title this sort of as a note to myself that boards are supposed to go on top. And then uh, two feet, and I may need to put fence there. So when I set up my other ratio, I have 240 feet. Like any good animal hotel, you want to keep dogs on the top floor, cats on the bottom, or vice versa. Just don't mix them. So if we need to know about feet of fence, it needs to go on the bottom where the other feet of fence happens to be. 240 feet fence. So what we're going to find out is the minimum number of boards. All that X, or whatever you want. You can call it B for boards. I don't care. Choose your own adventure. So I'm going to use cross multiply and divide here, or cross products. Yeah, there's other ways to do it. You could know that 2 times 120 gives you 240, so uh, 3 times 120 will get you the other place that you need, but that kind of thought process. Um, so I'm going to deal with 240 times 3, which is... 720 and then 2x it's just a simple solution here to get rid of times 2 you need to divide 360 boards can you test it by the way of course you can test it um, there's a bunch of ways to test it incidentally so now that I know where they're supposed to go I can just put them there if you multiply this times this, so you get uh, 320 times, or 360 times 2, it should give you 720. 240 times 3 should give you 720 as well. And incidentally enough, it does. So 
720 is equal to 720 shows that it's the case or you could do well I want to figure out how to go from 2 to 240 and a quick way to do that is backwards and you do 20, 240 divided by 2 and you get 120 so I'm gonna say that to go from here to here I need to do 2 times 120 well, it says divide what's with the times it's opposite I went this way to find the answer so going this way just gives me the opposite operation so to find this answer I just do 3 times 120 and you get the same thing. So 360 boards. Could you have done this instead of this? Absolutely. It's just the other doing cross products and setting up the proportion um, is seem it to me it's easier. It's just faster and you can do it quickly. Uh, my suggestion on what to write down because the thing about this type of problem is they put a ton of them on there and they want you to miss them because you write them down wrong or worse you just type it into a calculator and you don't really have any idea where the numbers are supposed to go and it gives you the wrong answer. I'll guarantee that some of these are just mixtures of you typing the wrong number into a calculator. So take the time to write this part down minimum then I would probably write this part down honestly I would do these two things and then you don't have to write divide by two because you know what it is so do yourself a favor make them pay for giving you such an easy question write this down this down so you get it right that way you don't miss it and look like a chump because you've missed one that you shouldn't have missed but they expected you to do it anyway so disappoint their thoughts that you aren't smart enough to figure out how to do the question and uh, that's it